Draeger has been serving the respiratory protection needs of fire services and industrial customers across the globe for over 100 years. In this time, many advances in SCBA technology have been achieved through dedicated research and technology development within Draeger. In recent years, the need for these changes has been driven through increasing market demands on the products and subsequently the tougher regulatory standards the product should meet. The 2013 editions of NFPA 1981 and 1982 standards is the latest example of this. These revisions of the standards are the toughest ever, resulting in the need for some minor modifications to the Draeger NFPA SCBA portfolio to attain approval. The major changes to the standards are radiant and convective heat and flame tests for the lens, STI scoring of communications through the face piece, a new 33% end of service time indicator, and inclusion of emergency breathing supply systems testing, EBSS. Firefighters today face a multitude of tasks, challenges, and environmental conditions during their shifts. One significant challenge is the high ambient temperatures during structural fires. Additionally, there is a greater potential they will face extremely high radiant heat sources from burning modern materials. This will thermally stress all of the equipment, especially the lens of the face piece. To improve integrity of the complete ensemble, including the face piece lens, the new NFPA 1981 2013 standard incorporates two new performance requirements. In this test, the face piece is fitted to a test head and heat is applied using a radiant heat panel at a power level of 15 kilowatts per meter squared. The face piece is connected to a lung that simulates a user's breathing in the mask. This test has a duration of five minutes, during which time the lens has to remain intact and the face piece remain in positive pressure. At the end of the five minutes, the complete test head is dropped from a six inch height. The convective heat and flame resistance test evaluates the ability of the SCBA and lens to withstand high temperatures. In this test, the complete SCBA is donned on a mannequin whilst breathing. The mannequin is heated in an oven at over 500 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. As the mannequin is removed from the oven, it is completely engulfed in flame for 10 seconds at a temperature of approximately 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. At the end of the flame engulfment portion of the test, the mannequin is dropped from a six inch height. During the whole test, the face piece must maintain positive pressure for a duration no less than 24 minutes. In order to meet the requirements of these new tests, the proven design and characteristics of the Draeger SCBA and the lens of the Draeger FPS 7000 face piece did not change. Simply an alternative material for the lens was selected which offers better performance in these extreme high heat scenarios. A new voice intelligibility test was implemented as a means to define a measurement which could accurately and reliably compare the performance of each SCBA. The new test has moved to an automated test method for measuring the speech transmission index, so-called STI, which relates to speech quality, in this case, of a face piece. Measurements are taken in a hemianechoic sound chamber. This complex test is performed with both unamplified speaking systems and amplified communication systems. Each has its own pass criteria. To achieve the STI measurement specified in the new standard, the Draeger FPS 7000 face piece has a new mechanical speech diaphragm, which offers an improved speech quality. The new speech diaphragm also served as the basis for the increased volume and improved speech quality of the new communication system FPS Com Advanced.
The new NFPA 1981-2013 standard states that the OSTE should sound when the cylinder content reaches 33% of the fill pressure to allow more air for the user to escape in an emergency situation. This is consistent with the NFPA 1404 standard for fire service respiratory protection training which states that a firefighter should be out of the immediately dangerous to life or health area before EOSTE activation. The 33% set point will allow more time for escape for cases where a normal exit is not possible. To implement this change, Traeger has readjusted the whistle setting and reprogrammed the Sentinel and HUD electronics to alert the user at 33%. This change in EOSTE set point does not affect the NIOSH rated duration of the SCBA. The EBSS or Buddy Breather has been used as a common practice amongst firefighters across the world for many years. However, for the first time the NFPA standard and NIOSH will be testing the performance of each manufacturer's solution when fitted to an SCBA. The EBSS, when connected, must allow both the donor and receiver of air to continue to breathe at the standard NFPA breathing rate when performed at minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. The design of the Draeger EBSS has not changed due to this new requirement. The Draeger Emergency Breathing Safety System is fitted to the SCBA in the existing manner, which is an indicator of the robustness of the existing design. The EBSS is now housed in a new pouch that is manufactured using the same highly durable material that is used on the shoulder and waist pads. As you have already heard, the 2013 edition of the NFPA 1981 and 1982 standards has resulted in very minor modifications to Draeger's existing 2007 edition PSS 5000 and PSS 7000 SCBA face masks and comps, which serves as a tribute to the level of quality and excellence that was initially built in the current Draeger SCBAs.